Namibia is a country in North Africa. It borders the Mediterranean Sea to the north, Egypt to the east, Sudan to the southeast, Chad and Niger to the south, and Algeria and Tunisia to the west. It has an area of almost 1.8 million square kilometers, 90% of which is desert. Libya is the fourth largest country in Africa by area and the 17th largest in the world, with an estimated population of just 6.4 million people. More than 90% of Libya's population is a mixture of Berber and Arab ancestry. Berbers were the natives who occupied the land before the arrival of Arabs. An overwhelming majority of Libyans are Muslims. Most Libyans belong to the Sunni school of Islam brought during the conquest by Arabs. Islam is central to Libyan life. Almost one million Libyans living today have memorized the Qur'an. Libyan life revolves around the regular religious practices advocated by Islam, with most of the citizens attending regular prayers at mosques. Libya is somewhat smaller than Indonesia and roughly the size of Alaska. At 1,770 kilometers, Libya's coastline is the longest of any African country bordering the Mediterranean. The climate is mostly dry and desert-like in nature. However, the north experiences a milder climate. The temperature in the Libyan desert can be extreme. For example, on September 13, 1922, the town of Al Azizia recorded an air temperature of 57.8 degrees Celsius. Libya gained independence in 1951 as a united Libyan kingdom, Al Mamlaka Al Libya Al Muttahida, changing its name to the Kingdom of Libya, Al Mamlaka Al Libya, in 1963. Following a coup d'etat in 1969, the name of the state was changed to the Libyan Arab Republic, Al Jumhuriya Al Arabiya Libya. In 1977, the title of the state was changed to the Great Socialist People's Libyan Arab Jamhuriya. The National Transitional Council established in 2011 refers to the state as the Libyan Republic, Al Jumhuriya Al Libya. Libya is an OPEC member and holds the largest proven oil reserves in Africa. The Libyan economy depends primarily upon the revenues from the oil sector. Omar al-Muhtar is regarded as a symbol of freedom for Libyans. He was a hero who organized and led the resistance against the Italian colonization of Libya for nearly 20 years. Also known as Sheikh Shuhada, he was born in 1862 in the small village of Janzur. After he was wounded in a battle near Slanta, the Italians captured him and on September 16, 1931, at the age of 73, he was executed. He was One of the most exotic and alluring cities of the Mediterranean world is Tripoli. Tripoli is the capital and the largest city in Libya and was known as the Bride of the Mediterranean with an estimated population of just under 2 million people. It is located in the northwest side of the country on a rocky land projecting into the sea and forming a natural bay. The name Tripoli comes from Tripolis, which means three cities. The famous three cities that made up the region of Tripolitania in ancient times, Zabritha, Leptis Magna, and Oia. The vibrant atmosphere of the capital is rich in signposts of its long history and culture, from the Roman sites and the old Medina to the modern developments of booming Libya, where local Libyan traditions are mixed with Islamic, Byzantine, and Turkish cultures to create a unique place, quickly becoming a cosmopolitan city. The old city or old Medina is an exciting place bustling with life and oozing with rich aromas of spices, coffee, nuts, falafel, and freshly made sweets emanating from every corner of this unique place. Local shops in the Medina sell a wide range of traditional products such as clothing, textile, electronics, leather products, silver and gold jewelry, and copper and brass ornaments of all kinds. The main entrance to the Medina is Bab al-Hurriya, also known as the Freedom Gate. The first battle of the 2011 Libyan uprising took place in Benghazi, the second largest city in Libya. Benghazi has nearly one million inhabitants, is architecturally attractive, and overlooks the sea. Likewise, many beaches make up the coastline. 
Due to the February 2011 uprising against the government of Muammar al-Gaddafi, the city was taken by rebels and is no longer under the control of the Gaddafi government. Souq al jrid or al jrid Outdoor Market, is a wonderful souq where all kinds of goods are sold. Merchants sell spices, clothing, and carpets. Craftspeople display jewelry, baskets, and leatherwork. Al Jabal al Akhdar, or the Green Mountain, is north of Benghazi and rises to the east and south of Derna and the Mediterranean Sea. Here, the vegetation and climate is more Mediterranean. Wadi al Kuf in the Akhdar Mountain stretches for about 8 kilometers falling from west to east. The nature of the valley is stunning, considering how Libya is elsewhere. At times you feel that you're in Europe. Also, there are many caves which were previously used as hiding places and as fighting bases during the Libyan resistance. Darna and Susa in eastern Libya have very interesting and attractive views. Bin Sahir represents national beauty due to its serenity, isolation, and simplicity of life. In the Libyan desert, decades may pass without rain, and even in the highlands, rainfall seldom happens, usually once every five to ten years. At Uina, as of 2006, the last recorded rainfall was September 1998. Tuareg today are found mostly in North and West Africa. The Tuareg people inhabit a large area, covering almost all the Middle and Western Sahara and the North Central Sahel. In Tuareg society, women do not cover their face, whereas men do. The men's facial covering originates from the belief that such action wards off evil spirits. It may have related instrumentally from the need for protection from the harsh desert sands as well. Taking on the veil is associated with the rite of passage to manhood. Men begin wearing a veil when they reach maturity. The veil usually conceals their face, excluding their eyes and the top of the nose. Libyan men wear loose cotton shirts upon trousers and cover themselves with a cloak. They also wear a flat, rimless cap. Libyan women wear full-length robes. Libya's beautifully preserved archaeological sites, especially the Roman city of Sabrasa and Leptis Magna, are widely considered to be two of the best preserved Roman archaeological sites in the world. The Roman city of Sabrasa lies 80 kilometers west of the capital Tripoli. The port was established as a Phoenician trading post around 500 BC. However, the city was badly damaged by earthquakes during the 4th century. It was rebuilt on a modest scale by Byzantine governors. It has the well-preserved 3rd century theater that retains its three-story architectural backdrop. Sabrasa temples are dedicated to Liber Pater, Serapis, and Isis. Leptis Magna is the largest Roman city in Libya, and its ruins are some of the most complete and best preserved in the Mediterranean. The city is Libya's largest tourist attraction. Leptis Magna was originally founded by the Phoenicians in the 10th century BC. It was sacked by a Berber tribe in 523 AD and later abandoned and reclaimed by the desert. Today, the site has many monuments still intact. The theater has good panoramic views of the city from its upper tiers. Also included are the Hadrianic Baths. The largest bathhouse was 28 by 15 meters. The Leptis Magna Museum contains many excavated artifacts. 